Hi there, I'm gonna show you how to upload your Screencastify videos to your Seesaw class. So I will start by saying, um, if you are looking for an in-depth tutorial on Screencastify or on Seesaw, this is not the video for you. This is gonna be a quick video to show you how to take um, a Screencastify video that you have already made and put it into your pre-existing Seesaw class. I recommend that if you are looking for uh, fantastic how-tos on how to use either Screencastify or Seesaw, you check out the DPS EdTech YouTube channel. And um, we've got tons of great resources for you there. Uh, lots of team members have put together stuff that is going to help you through that and be super clear on how to do that. You can also reach out to your digital coach for support. Without further ado, I am going to show you how to upload these into Seesaw. So you can see that I'm already in my Seesaw class. There are two different ways that I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to uh, do it through uh, sending an announcement. So that's something I would do if I just wanted them to watch the video and not do anything else with it. The second way that I'm going to show you is through a sign-in activity. And that would be if I want them to do something with the contents of the video. So maybe I want them to draw a picture or I want them to type a response or maybe I have a worksheet that I want to uh, build in to uh, my like Seesaw activity and I want them to use that video as a reference. I'm going to show you both ways. So with both ways, I'm going to add this uh, a, or I'm going to use this green plus sign add button and I'm going to start with showing you the announcement way. So I'm going to click on the send announcement and then I'm going to select who I send it to and then I'm going to type in uh, a brief description of what I want uh, them to do with the video. All right, and then I'm just going to hit this Add Attachment button. And then it's going to take me to this page, and I'm going to select the Upload. And so, sorry, it's all of my toolbars are hiding this. So then what I'm going to do is we know that our screencast video is saved directly to your drive. So I'm going to select from Google Drive. And then I have my Screencastify folder. Somewhere in here. So if you're like me and you have tons and tons and tons of folders that you could be using, um, you can also search for it. All right, and here's the one that I want to use. So I'm going to select it. And it's going to take a hot second to upload. And then I'm just going to click my green check mark here. And that will attach my video there. So then I go ahead and hit this send to my students and they will get that um, in their messages folder. Now, the other way I can do this is I can hit this add button again and I can add, uh, I can assign an activity. So this is going to make it so that my students can actually interact with the video. Um, again, they could draw, talk, type, um, or they can use an attached worksheet, whatever they need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this create new activity and I'm going to title my activity And I'm going to give my students some instructions. And 
And then I'm going to hit this add multimedia instructions or example. And then again, it's going to take me to this page. I'm going to hit upload and I'm going to select from Google Drive. And then I'm going to go ahead and find that screencast video again. Another reason why naming my videos is so incredibly important. All right, and then I'm going to hit that. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to hit the green check mark. It's going to go ahead and upload. And then again, if I wanted to add that uh, student worksheet, I would add the template, uh, go through there. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm going to hit save once I'm done. And then I hit this assign button. And I can go ahead and assign to uh, whichever classes I want to. And then you'll see it has showed up in my activities now. So the student view will be like this. So they'll go ahead and view the instructions. They'll play it. Hey there, I'm gonna sh All right, they've watched my video. Um, and then they can select how they respond to that. So. I can go ahead and open up a drawing. I can record, I can take a picture, all of that good stuff.